Hey everybody, what's going on? So, uh, a little bit of a different intro than normal, but uh, today we're going to take a look at the uh, installation process of the Raspberry Pi. So, right right off the bat, you're going to notice that the first thing you see is in here is my phone going off. But the first thing you'll see is the different options that you get to install the Raspberry Pi. Uh, I went through it briefly and basically have missed it at this point, but uh, you've got several different Raspberry Pi based options uh, for operating systems to install. The primary suggested one is going to be Raspbian. It's a Debian Wheezy port. Um, you also have some Arch or Arc Linux. Uh, like uh, I think it was like Arch Pi or, or something like that. Um, and you had some other ones that were specifically built and designed for people that were doing using this to do some coding and stuff like that. So now we get to watch the uh, installation of, in this case, since I'm just doing it to kind of play with it, uh, just the base Raspbian. And uh, yeah, welcome to Geek and Dad, where today we're talking about Raspberry Pi again. and uh, just to kind of show you behind the fuzzy mic here here we are all plugged in and hooked up it's pretty tiny obviously uh, cables are running a little tight so but this is it so you'll notice um, this is the first screen you get as soon as you finish your installation that come back here so hopefully you can see it better there we go and um there's a couple of things that are pretty neat uh the first thing that stood out to me when i first noticed it was the fact that we can overclock uh of course your typical um overclocking be careful um so we're gonna go to uh, this is our here here you can see your base uh, all your everything you're studying at right so we're just gonna go to like uh, from what I've seen the turbo overclocks kind of the uh, the Pi 2 is either high or turbo I don't remember we're gonna go with we're gonna go with high just to be slightly modest well Pi 2 we're gonna go with the Pi 2 profile uh, expand file system your partition layer is not currently supported by this tool you're probably using noobs in which case your root file system is already expanded anyways okay that's fine um change the default password okay so your your default username is pi and the default password is raspberry on here uh i think for this demonstration purposes we're just going to leave it the same uh for what we're doing we want to uh, desktop login. Yep, that's exactly what we want. Um, we really don't want to 
Enter operational internationalism options. We don't care about advanced options. Let's see what's in here. Okay, so uh, what's our host name? Raspberry Pi. That works. Um, let's go back. Uh, we're gonna. Uh, let's actually bump that up to 128 because what we're gonna try, actually, we're gonna go to 256, because we are gonna try to do some gaming on here. Uh, okay. Uh, I think I think that's really, really it. Um, yeah, uh, black bars are present on the display, but that's okay in my opinion. We'll see, well, hang on, let's see what this happens. Would you like, uh, actually, we'll just, there was an error, that's fine. So we're just gonna come down and um, we're gonna finish. Yeah, we're gonna go ahead and reboot. And so, oh, well, hopefully you saw most of that. So you'll notice we're restarting now. And uh, yeah, hopefully that should put us at this the desktop. fix that later. So we got a mouse. And there we go. We are at the desktop. <laughs> so here you are. Here's your, your Raspbian desktop. It's a pretty basic desktop, but it's pretty, I mean, it, it's a graph, it's a GUI. It's a graphical user interface. Uh, up here, you're, you've got your time. You've got your CPU. You do CPU utilization, if I could spit that out right. Uh, volume, I don't have anything plugged in for speakers right now, so we don't have any volume. Uh, I might plug in uh, my headphones in a little while to play with it. Uh, and then we've got our network configuration showing our IP address, which you know, whatever, you can see that, that's fine. Um, and here are just the basics of what you get. So. You'll notice there's a big emphasis on programming because um, that's kind of what this thing is built for. Uh, it's built for people to learn to program. It's built for people to make things with a program. Um, so it's got a good foundational start in my opinion. Uh, you've got a, tip, a classic, just a generic web browser. Uh, now you'll, you'll notice that this isn't the fastest like computer in the world, but don't forget, it's a freaking $35 computer. In, in this case, with this package, it's a $60 computer, so we're going to go to google.com and see what's up. Let's check out uh, here. Let's, let's see how well, and you'll notice that the CPU spikes a little bit in terms of utilization. If I could spell it, it'd be fantastic. Notice this is a recurring theme with me. So let's see how this handles my website. I, I'm just curious because, well, I, I'm just curious. So, and by the way, you can always come to my website, check it out, www.geekandad.com. I am going to shamelessly plug this for like, I don't know how long, but for a while. So, bear with me on that. Alright, so it's relatively. You know, for what it is, it works. Fucking keystrokes. It's not, like I said, it's not the most responsive, but hey. At the end of the day, you are able to browse the web. And so if that's what you want this thing for, it'll do that for you. It'll check your email. It'll probably be your basic version of all your email things, but that's okay. Uh, you'll notice we get Minecraft and pre-installed with the Raspbian operating system. Uh, you've got your basic uh, file manager, image viewer, video viewer, task manager, terminal, a compressor slash file archiver, 
you know, in your your basic uh, preferences. So it's it's a basic operating system. There's not a whole lot of fluff to it. Um, it just it's just a simple little OS, you know. Um, it does what it's meant to do, which is get you up and running with something cheap, and then from there it's up to your imagination. So uh, my imagination says I want to play games on a thirty-five dollar machine. So let's play none other than let's create a new world. Let's just play what we can play. It's already on here, and see what see how it responds. Now I I am not a uh, Minecraft player personally. Uh, never got into it, but I know a lot of people who did. And a lot of people who do, uh, and a lot of friends have kids that are just completely into this. So, you know, uh, how do you? All right, so I think we're swimming right now. Trying to jump. I don't know how to. All right. I mean, it's it's. Minecraft. I don't know how much more exciting it can be. Oh, we're chopping the tree. We're trimming the bush. <laughs> if you know what I mean. Oh, wait, hang on. We gotta get out. Oh, we can't. It's okay, we'll keep trimming the bush. Look, now we can get out. That's a tree with water. Hey, it's floating. How does that work? Floating trees. Alright, so I think we're kind of like on top of our own little world. It's not very big. I mean, I wouldn't expect it to be, but still. Well, I mean, there's there's still stuff. Alright, let's let's go over there. Let's see what we can find. Uh, look, there's stuff over there. Let's go over there. Oh, we can go in here and keep going down. All right, well, we're gonna swim up because we don't want to drown. I don't know if you can drown in this game, but we don't want to drown. So, oh, hey, look. Whoa, press and hold space and you fly. I always wondered how people did that. All right, so, cool. There's one boundary. I mean, I gotta say, for how low-powered this is uh, as a computing platform, as a computer, uh, Minecraft's handling, it's it's handling Minecraft pretty well um, in terms of what it's able to draw and all that good stuff. So, I mean, we've got, hey, look, there's a little bit of a, a mountain over here. But we don't have any, like, creepers or anything, so... Wait a minute, what's all that? Wait, how do you, how do you, uh, maybe, I don't know how you stop flying. F, V, C, I don't know how to stop flying. So, we're just kind of stuck flying around. Shows you how much I play this game. Alright, so, we'll just put the title on that. Alright, so, that's Minecraft Pocket Edition for you, or, or Pie Edition, rather. Um, I guess if we just close that. Okay, cool. All right. So as you can tell, I've obviously got a little bit of a learning to uh, a little bit of learning to do. Um, I don't know how close I was to getting Doom working. Uh, my gut tells me that I was actually a lot closer than I feel like I was. Uh, but I, for what I've got going on, and uh, for time's sake, I need to go ahead and wrap it up because. I, I, I'll, I'm the kind of person that I will bang my head against a brick wall until I figure out what's going on. And so, I think that I've, it, you know, at this point we'll just call it a wrap. We'll pick up on it again when we get back in town uh, after Father's Day. And we'll take another look at it and see if we can't get it installed. And if we can, well then we'll do a, vi a quick video update. Uh, just kind of showing off that, hey, I can't actually get this installed. Uh, and I'll let y'all know just how close I was. So, um, that being said, thanks for taking the time to watch. 
uh, please like this video if you liked it, dislike it if you disliked it. Uh, leave me a comment down below to let me know where I can improve and what kind of content you want to see. Uh, and also if you have some ideas uh, for what else I can do with this before I really put hunker down and focus on um, my ultimate uh, goal, which is building a box of buttons and lights that my daughter can play with. Um, I'll put this right there high. Uh, if you have any other thoughts or ideas of things to play with before I do that, let me know down in the comments below as well. Uh, also, if you want to find me at, on Twitter, at Geek and Dad, uh, you can let me know there as well. Uh, and once again, a shameless plug, my website's up, it's live, www.geekanddad.com. You can find out a little bit more about me there. You can also find out what's going on in my life and what my thoughts are there as well. And then, of course, you can also get it caught up with all the latest YouTube content there too. So, uh, go to the website, take a look around. Um, also, if you're on the website, leave me a comment and let me know. Drop me an email, hit me up on Twitter, or whatever. Uh, and let me know what you think about my website. Uh, what do you think I could do to improve it? What do you think just I did right on the head? Uh, so, yeah. Thanks for watching. I hope to see you next time. And until then, peek out.